सुरगुरुं वंदे जगत्कारणं वंदे पन्नगभूषणं सिसिधरं वंदे पशुनाम पतिं वंदे सूर्य शिशांकवन्हिनयनं वंदे मुकुंद प्रियं वंदे भक्तजन आश्रयं च वरदं वंदे भक्तजन आश्रयं च वरदं वंदे शिवं शंकरं फ्रेंड्स द मॉडर्न सोसाइटी इज मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन द राइट्स देन इन द रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज we are not interested in putting in the effort we are interested in the fruit we don't have the patience to work out but we are very fast in trying to get the benefits the very day we sow the seed we would like to have the fruit even without any cultivation any work we would like to have the fast foods the modern trend is more for the fruit benefit profit without effort this is not to be encouraged this is detrimental to the society dangerous to the community therefore Sri Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita says you think of your duties first never think of the fruits Kennedy came from America long long ago when Jawaharlal Nehru was the prime minister and he seems he said don't ask what the country has done to you ask what you have done to the country never demand the rights always come forward to perform your duties everywhere these sentences were publicized by pandit nehru in those days now the things are still worse we want quick results only fruits all benefits no effort no attempt no hard work no patience therefore shri krishna says karmanye vadhikaraste man you have first and foremost the responsibility duty the second meaning is when you work hard when you prepare for the examination when you offer the prayers when you are doing the cultivation don't dream about the result your concentration fails while preparing for the examination if you are to think of the fruit preparation is polluted prayers are adulterated efforts are diluted concentration is reduced and we cannot have the full concentration and we cannot get the fruit for that i stay yesterday i gave so many examples of the students dreaming about the results and not performing the duty of preparation preparation for the examination concentration third even if you want to put in the effort even if you want to work hard grace is necessary divine grace is necessary therefore pray to god oh lord i am trying to prepare for the examination let there be no other thought even to do your duty divine grace is essential तदनुग्रह हेतु के नेवेच विज्ञाने न मोक्ष सिद्धि भवति मर्जसि ईश्वरानुग्रहा देवा कुंसाम अद्वैत वासना आदि शंकर द ग्रेटेस्ट थिंकर ए जीनियस ऑफ अद्वैत फिलॉसफी ए रेशनलिस्ट एन इंटेलेक्चुअल जेंट सेस दैट ग्रेस इज नेसेसरी इवन टू कम टू मैत्रिनिलन 
even to sit and listen to the talk, even to sit and meditate on Brahman. That's called Vinayaka Puja. Siddhir Bhavati. Let there be no obstacles. Let there be no hindrances. Let there be no difficulties. Karmanyeva Dikaraste. Your concentration should be on the effort. Kumbhakarna in the Ramayana. He did tapasya. Tapas is effort, hard work, preparation for examination, etc. And what is the fruit he wants first class? Victory. Brahma should give him the boon. What is that boon? Amaratva, eternity, deathlessness, immortality, no Mrutyu Devata to come to him. This is the food for which he puts in the effort. Now, he is doing tapasya. When he is doing tapasya, when he is preparing for the examination, when he is working very, very hard, all the devatas went to God as a Saraswati. Amma, yes, my boys, what is your problem? That fellow is working very hard. He is doing tapasya, kumbhakarna, and Brahmaji comes and he asks him, what do you want, my boy? And this fellow will say, I want to be deathless. If he does not die, he will kill us. What do you want me to do, Saraswati asked. Somehow, you please see that his tapasya fails. His preparation for the examination does not succeed. And the boy is sitting, preparing for the examination. There is a window, the window is open and there is a girl walking. He looks at her, concentration has gone, fails in the examination. There is no girl. Somebody has placed the photograph of a beautiful girl in the book. And when he opens the book, the girl is seen. He forgets the purpose and fails in the examination. <laughs> Even that is stopped. Pollution, sound pollution. There is some bhajan party going, procession going, marriage taking place. Sound, sound, sound everywhere. Even that is not there. In the next room, brother or sister or father or mother or grandfather is looking at the cricket match on the TV, diversion. Even to perform your duty. What happened to this Kumbhakarna? All the devatas went to Saraswati and made a prayer to her. Amma, Amma, somehow you should divert. She came. By the time she came, Brahmaji already arrived to give him the boon. The Vice Chancellor is about to sign the gold medal certificate. Brahmaji is going to do it. And then this fellow Kumbhakarna stood up, Brahmaji, Brahmaji, what do you want, my boy? I want, he said, oh, tell me, first class, second class, gold medal, what do you want? Then Saraswati entered his mouth, sat on the tongue, twisted the tongue. How? Nityatva. He wanted to say, pure fellow. Nitya means permanent. Nityatva, please give me. And she squeezed the tongue, twisted the tongue. Instead of saying, kya, he said, nidratva. <laughs> nityatva became nidratva. Brahmaji said, very good, I will give you nidra constantly. While performing the duty, so many difficulties. While preparing for the examination. While reciting Lalita Sahasrama, milk wala comes. While milk is being boiled on the stove, just it is reaching its final, husband calls from the office phone. When you attend to the phone, the milk gets spoiled. Everywhere, Ishwaranu Graha Deva. Therefore, Krishna says, with full concentration, without any diversion, meditate on the work you are doing. Let not the mind be wavering, moving, wandering. Yeka, Gata, 
chitta ekagra chitta mind should be pinpointed mind should be focused and that is yoga three points and the fourth with the ekagra chitta with the focused mind with all effort you complete even then fruit is not in your hand there is no guarantee garuda the son of vinata went to indraloka brought that pot of amruta he gave it to his aunt khadru and just then as soon as the pot is placed on the ground indra came and snatched it away the purpose is defeated you have got your certificate but it is blown away by the wind god you have got your beautiful wife from america her previous lover came snatch her away <laughs> what is the use of your marriage anything may happen any time therefore fruit is not in your hands you might have heard in physics there is a law physical law and which we were taught in the 78 to 90 standards if two objects are dropped from the same point in space they both reach the ground at the same time because of the gravitational pull of the earth this everybody knows when i was an eighth standard student my physics teacher taught me i did not believe it impossible i thought then in those days in chennai only the lic building was the tallest building i traveled all the way with my father to go to chennai when i was a student of 78th standard to experiment whether the law is correct or not i requested the officers watchman went to the top floor of the lic building in chennai 5 mg milligram feather weight polythene paper in one hand 5 kg stone in another hand drop it what should happen according to the law both of them should reach the ground at the same time no you drop they will not fall the stone will go straight 5 kg stone this feather weight milligram paper it will be blowing in the wind it will take more than one hour or two hours or three hours or five hours to fall on the ground or it may not fall it may be caught by a tree why is the law wrong no there is a condition under ideal conditions what are those ideal conditions there should be no wind then both the weights vary they will come angel face lovely face tv advertisement black face brown face less brown white and red rosy seven faces i bought because i want my wife to be more beautiful i asked her to apply it on the first day she applied second day third day seven days i observed seventh day face also was like the first day face <laughs> no change no brown no white no red and is the advertisement wrong tvs fellow advertised the hosur factory wala for 1 liter of petrol 80 liters of distance it gives 80 kilometers i bought the tv tvs 50 moped i used it on the road it never gave me 80 kilometers it gave me only 60 kilometers i went to the consumer court against the angel face also i went to consumer court and then against the tvs 50 i went to the consumer court this fellow has advertised the one liter 80 kilometers sir one liter it gave me only 60 kilometers then hosur factory manager air managing director invited me the judge and the consumer court lawyer all of us went in the factory there is a post pillar on that pillar was fixed the tvs brand new tvs 50 he applied 1 liter of pure petrol in the tank 
heavy grease to the front wheel, heavy grease to the back wheel, he started and the wheel was going round, 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 82 kilometers in gear. <laughs> My TVS 50 is not giving boy, I said, bring it sir, I took it, cleaned it, in front of my eyes, he brought one liter of pure petrol without kerosene. He poured it and front wheel cleaned it and greased it. Back wheel cleaned it, greased it, started it. It also gave 82 kilometers. What my boy, it is not giving in from my house to the office. Sir, what is the advertisement? For one liter, it gives it. 80 kilometers. Did I say it will give you on the road? No. <laughs> there are roads, ups, speed breakers, traffic congestion, petrol is adulterated, grease is not applied, and you are 150 kilos <laughs> sitting on it. You are like 450 kilometers sitting behind it, and you have heavy luggage. How can it give? Your prayers will be answered when. Your mind is pure. Petrol is pure. When the whole body is greased, purified, cleaned, kept in order, ideal conditions. Even if you have everything, the giver is not yourself. Giver is God. You have written the answer script. The man, while giving the marks, is quarreling with his wife, he is shouting at his wife and making the tick marks here, he will give five out of ten. He has not read the answer script. Therefore, your fruit is not governed by your effort only. There are hundred factors. Satyam computers we all know. We know the owner or the proprietor, Ramalinga Raju. Hundreds of thousands of people, software engineers are appointed and everybody is very sincere, everybody is hard working, everybody is very very effectively functioning. One fine morning, 10,000 people were removed. What crime did they commit? They are pure, they are sincere, they are hard working. But what happened elsewhere? The fruit is not in your hand. Effort only is in your hand. Therefore Krishna says, you make a sincere application, make a sincere prayer. Fruits are never in our hand. Let us not waste our minds by thinking of the fruits. Let us concentrate. Let us be prayerful. Let us offer ourselves at the feet of the Almighty. Let God take care of us. Let there be divine grace showering on all of us. Let us pray to Lord Krishna. Let us meditate on Him so that we will be in a position to offer our prayers successfully, carefully, with all reverence. Let us meditate on Sri Krishna.